was that? I'm so, so glad to see you here as well and to have everyone present here in Ayana Mall's Market Market. It is so great to have you on stage. Thank you. And to finally see you face to face. Face to face. <laughs> face to face. <laughs> so, yeah, I would like to ask you, how are you tonight? Am I? I'm, I'm a little jet lagged jet -lag. from, the, from coming from uh, the U.S. But it's it's been so fun. I've had fun just like visiting, um, doing different interviews, and I'm just thankful that Playback Presents it brought me here and yes. super awesome productions. They've been so good. We all had lunch. They took us to go get a bunch of Filipino food, so I got my synagogue Ooh. and my. What else did we have? What was the call? The, the, the fish? The ba -ba -ba -ba. No, it was another one. It starts with a P. Pampano. Pampano, okay. yeah. Pampano. We had sinigang, pampano. Yeah, yeah, pansi. Pansi. We had like all of it. We had, um, what else did we have? I mean, and then they gave us halo halo at the end. So I was like, hey, that was the best. All Filipino local dishes, right? So good. So good. Yeah, yeah but yeah, you actually answered your first question. Oh. Because I would like to ask you all, like, what else did you miss here in the Philippines? Because it's like around the six years, if I'm not mistaken, right? Since the last visited? Yeah. Like 2008 was the last time? Yeah. Ooh. How long? Wait, how was it? 2018. Wait, how many years is that? <laughs> yeah, six years. Um, what was the question? <laughs> Sorry. I feel like I was like counting, I got lost track. Everyone, yeah. So, how was your uh, visit here in the Philippines right now? Changes. It's been so good. Mm -hmm. I guess it's been, when I come back, because the Filipinos make you feel so welcome and so at home. They make you feel like your family. Yeah. So I'm like, oh my gosh, am I related to you? <laughs> Can we go have like a family cookout or something? Because it's just, it, you, you, I feel so like I have so much in common with the Filipino culture and, and people because I tend to be a little more like, oh, nervous and shy, and like everyone has been the same, but like very heartfelt or emotional. Love to sing karaoke, I love to sing karaoke, so it's like, you know, I just feel like, hey, you feel like home hey cousins, here in the hey, brother. Yeah. <laughs> I love the quick samples of songs. Oh, I know, I, I do it all the time, I sing too many songs. So. Okay, now, David, I'd like to go into deep diving to your journey, like a singer. Not just here in the Philippines, being known here in the Philippines, but all over the world, right? And your career has been nothing short of amazing, and it's really um, commendable to see you have so many hits, remarkable songs and whatnot. So, looking back, what would you have say has been the highlight of your career so far? And what's been the most surprising thing about your journey in this music industry? The highlight of my career, um, <coughs> oh gosh, I, oh, so, uh, so, gosh, what is the highlight of my career? I feel like where I'm at now feels so special because it's been, what is it, 16 years since I was on American Idol? 16 years. 16, oh my gosh, that's terrible. <laughs> Uh, 16 years since I was on and um, so that's over that's like half my life ago mm -hmm. and um, I'm making new music now and it feels so special because um, I came out as queer uh, a few years ago and yeah. thank the you are here supporting you all the way thank you so much thank you I, and that was very difficult for me to, mm -hmm. to do because I grew up very religious and I just thought how can I accept that about myself? I yeah. can't. And when I finally did, it's like a whole new world <laughs> I learned how to love myself. Yeah. Because I always hated myself for that part of me. Because I was like, I can't like myself until I can change. And when I, and since I never was able to change myself, I just I learned to despise myself. And now that I've learned to have this love for me, I feel this new confidence, and I'm able to write about it and put it in my music and in my performances. And um, so I have new music. I have new music for y'all to. to
this way. I knew how long I'm going to work hard for next year. I've, I've written so many fun songs. Mm -hmm. I was given a sneak peek to some a couple of people yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> I have seen that. Yeah. Uh, huh? You saw? Yeah. Oh, I'm doing uh, your guest thing. I, like, I don't think they're in the camera. Okay. So. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited for that. And so I feel like actually, even though it's not necessarily a part of my career, I feel like coming out was my proudest moment because it helped me learn how to finally love myself fully and then put that into my music and career and just to feel the support from everybody uh, means so much. Exactly. Thanks for sharing that. And everyone here is very, very proud of you and proud of what you really conquered throughout your life struggles and whatnot. And thank you so much because you've been a total inspiration for everybody. That's why they're here. And I've been asking all of them earlier, some of them, were, you know, present during your last concert here in the Philippines. Oh They've been a fan ever since you were in American Idol. Like, it's been years. And you mentioned it's like 16 years ago for American Idol. And you know what? They're still here, going strong and supporting you in whatever decision that you have. Thank you. Thanks, you as well. <laughs> and speaking of, you know, professional life, and at the same time, personal stuff, you know, personal life. So, on a more personal note, we'd love to know what keeps you inspired and motivated. How do you find balance between your professional life and your personal life? Um, I try to just make time for some personal time for myself every day. I, I, I go to the gym and that's really helpful for just feeling better physically but also mentally. Mm -hmm. I do little things like I make myself breakfast in the morning, I make myself eggs a lot of times and we'll go to the gym. I'll do a lot I'll do some time where I just stretch and meditate. Like I just try to be very present with my body. <laughs> and um, that's that's something that has helped me as well in just like the self love journey that I've been on. By taking care of myself, um, it's like Sometimes it's like, you don't know, I'm like, how do I love myself? How do I take care of, I don't know how to like myself. It's a new thing for me. And so it's like, well, just, if, when you start doing things for yourself, like taking care of, like going to the gym, like yeah. giving yourself food, <laughs> like serving yourself in little ways like that and stretching, meditating, it's like you start to gain that love and self-respect. And so it's, that's been interesting. It's helped me a lot in my performance and in my writing. Yeah, and it's amazing to know how you balance all those things, considering that you still have a lot of things to do, like your concert for tomorrow, and a lot of guest things in the near future. And at the same time, I totally agree with you in terms of like self-love, hashtag self-love, because if you love yourself from within, and that's where everyone sees how you look so inspired and happy. Like you are right now, you look so totally fresh and inspired and happy. <laughs> thank you. Do you agree? Yeah. Uh, thank you. You're very nice. Yeah, and speaking of all those things that you're preparing in the near future, let's talk about future plans. Because I've been hearing there's more to come from David Archuleta. Now the question is, what's next for David Archuleta? Are there any exciting projects or new music on the horizon that you can share with us? Oh my gosh, I want to share so many things with y'all. I mean, I'm, I'm working on new music. I'm, I'm working on a book as well, a new book. And I've been writing it for the last year, and I finally finished it about a month ago. Oh, exciting. And yeah, thank you. So it, it's about the journey that I've just from since American Idol, and, and when I went on my mission, and um, coming back, and then coming out of the closet and uh, just all of that and um, is, is in the book so we'll, that'll be out next year as well. Next year. Next year. Excellent. So yeah, I'm just making some last edits uh -huh. or like a bunch of edits on it. But, uh, and then yeah, the music. I, I wish I could like show y'all clips or something but I just, <laughs> um, I'm very excited. I've, I've been channeling a lot of these, um, these pop like a lot of the pop princesses I've been inspired by this summer, like Sabrina Carpenter and Chapel Row, and then um, just yeah. So I'm, I'm, and and actually, like I've, I've been a big fan of EDM music, so just like wanting to dance and feel good and have a good time. Um, 
I hope that this music will let people have a good time. I love it. So you prepare like a book that's going to be released next year. And yeah. it's a year in the making, right? Yeah, I'm so excited. Everyone's yeah. so excited to know more about it.